Hey guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here again back with another player review for you all in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team and today we have got another one of the pink footies cards that was released a few weeks back. We do have the 84 rated Ivorian striker from Roma. We do have Seydou Dumbia. Now before I start guys, I want to apologise that I haven't uploaded in the past couple of days. I have been slightly busy and I just haven't had the chance to sit down and record anything. You know, let alone, um, you know, these reviews for you guys. So I want to apologise for that. That, but I've got some free time today so I should be able to get some reviews for you done and maybe an episode or two of Quest for the Best so you guys can look forward to those. Now today's review is going to be based on the pink version of Dumbia obviously and I'm going to start off by saying something that is going to I think is going to cause a lot of you to disagree with me and that is that Dumbia's regular card is a bad card. I'm not going to lie to you guys when it comes to using Dumbia's regular card in Ultimate Team I've never enjoyed using it but I've spoken to a lot of people and they say I'm wrong and Dumbia is known to be OP in this game you know a lot of people love using him and he is known to be one of the go-to strikers because he's got pace on the card his dribbling looks good his shooting looks good but me personally guys every single game that I try and use him in yes he's got pace but his dribbling isn't really the greatest his shooting is very very bad and his finishing inside the box is absolutely dreadful he is very very weak as well and his positioning isn't really the greatest so I I went into this review thinking to myself I'm hoping this card is awesome because when you look at his card face stats guys for an 84 rated player they are absolutely incredible I mean he's got 96 pace which in itself is ridiculous I think he's got 86 shooting and 86 dribbling as well so the stats are around that area and stats like that are absolutely crazy guys so going into the very first game that I did go into using this pink Dumbia card my god guys this card for me was absolutely absolutely fantastic he felt as good as what I've heard the non-inform is like for other people you know his pace was ridiculous I'm gonna start off with that guys because you probably are going to be buying him for that reason alone you know a lot of people are going to be putting him into the, their teams just because they want to feel that 96 pace you know you want to get him on the ball and just pace abuse completely with him you'll be able to do it with this card you know you can do it with his regular I know but this card he feels so goddamn fast as soon as you find that little bit of space he is gone guys absolutely gone he hits his top sprint speed very very quickly and as soon as you you know he's just gone guys as soon as he hits it you know dribbling and ball control with this card for me was absolutely fantastic as well he was one of those cards where I just instantly felt better dribbling than what his card face stats say and his in-game stats say as well guys so that did make me enjoy using him that much more and I like feeling surprises with a player you know seeing their card face stats seeing in their in-game stats and then going into a couple of games and then feeling as though their dribbling and ball control in-game is better than what their stats say and not just dribbling anything to do with the player in general you know when they perform better in-game than what they should it's always a nice surprise to see you know shooting with this card for me was absolutely fantastic as well inside the box is finishing was absolutely ridiculous now I have to say Seydou Dumbia is pink version in my opinion is not the sort of player that you should buy if you are a long shot taker like me I did get him into the position to take long shots very very frequently and he failed pretty much every single time from a distance guys he did manage to score one which was literally just outside the box but anything from you know 30 40 yards he could not challenge the keeper once and he just failed guys so if you are like me and you like taking long shots on a regular basis then say do don't be his pink card is not the sort of player i would recommend passing for me was pretty decent as well didn't manage to bag that many assists for me but the amount of opportunities that he did create for me was absolutely fantastic especially when you consider that he only has 70 pass and he completely outperformed that stat for me guys strength wise I didn't have a problem at all guys he was holding his own and he was keeping the ball from a lot of defenders that should have taken the ball from him easily so in all guys you've got a player here who's got very very good pace a lot of strength a lot of power very good finishing inside the box very very good dribbling and ball control his aerial ability again is something that I did not have a problem with either he's also a player with four star skills and four star weak foot I had absolutely no problem whatsoever guys with his weak foot it felt like a four star finishing inside the box was fine and the four star skills you know skills is a plus for pretty much everyone if you're not a skiller then they're there for you to practice and you know improve over time and if you are a skiller then they're there for you to use and abuse to the full extent and score some absolutely fantastic goals 
levels, you know? So, pretty much, guys, pink version of Seydou Dumbia is an absolutely ridiculous card. When I bought him, he was 200,000 coins. When you see in this review, he's probably come down a little bit. Pretty much the only thing that I found bad with this card is that his shooting from a distance wasn't the greatest. Everything else, guys, with this card was ridiculous. Amazing pace, amazing dribbling and ball control, amazing shooting inside the box. His passing was decent for me. Strength-wise, no problem. Positioning, no problem. He was in the position that I needed him to be in all the time, and he was making runs on his own. Made me enjoy using him that much more. I gotta say, he is definitely worth it. If you have used the pink Dumbia yourself, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below what he was like for you and whether or not you think he is worth it. Guys, that's gonna wrap up this review. Please leave a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe today for more reviews to come very soon. Don't forget to hit the link in the description, guys. Drop me a follow over on Twitter and all that good stuff. Please take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.